The Texas Gulf Coast stretches for hundreds of miles. Long sandy beaches meet the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Gentle breezes rustle through the coastal grasses. The sun often shines brightly here, painting the sky in vibrant colors at dawn and dusk. Many people are drawn to this coastline. It offers a sense of escape and connection with the natural world. Families come here for holidays, building sandcastles and paddling in the gentle surf. Anglers cast their lines from piers and boats, hoping for a bountiful catch. Tourists flock to its towns and cities, seeking relaxation and recreation. The coast provides livelihoods for many, through fishing, tourism, and other industries. Coastal marshes and estuaries serve as vital nurseries for countless marine species. Young fish and shrimp find food and shelter here. These wetlands are also crucial for migratory birds. Dolphins can often be seen playing in the waves just offshore. Crabs scuttle along the beaches, yet, this idyllic surface so full of life and beauty can be deceptive. Beneath the shimmering waves and golden sands a more complex story unfolds. For many years the deeper secrets of the Gulf of Mexico remained largely unknown. Its vastness and depth made exploration difficult, but today scientists are equipped with new tools and technologies. Remotely operated vehicles or ROVs can dive to great depths. Sophisticated sonar systems can map the seafloor in incredible detail. Sensitive instruments can detect subtle changes in the water and the seabed. What these modern explorers are finding is often surprising. They are uncovering geological features and ecological processes that were once unimagined. Some discoveries fill us with wonder at the complexity of marine life. Others, however, paint a more troubling picture. The data reveals evidence of instability and stress within the Gulf's ecosystems. Scientists are observing massive cracks appearing on the seafloor. They are tracking the spread of oxygen-depleted dead zones. They are studying the effects of methane seeping from below the seabed. The scale of these discoveries suggests that the Gulf is far more active and in some ways more fragile than we previously understood. The consequences of these rapid changes are not yet fully understood. Near the coastal city of Corpus Christi, Texas, scientists have made a particularly alarming discovery. Detailed surveys of the seafloor have revealed the presence of massive cracks. Some of these cracks stretch for several miles across the seabed. They can be many feet wide and deep. Imagine great rents in the very fabric of the ocean floor. These features suggest that the foundation of this part of the Gulf is far from stable. The appearance of these extensive cracks raises many questions. What forces are powerful enough to tear the seafloor apart in this way? Several theories are being investigated by geologists. One possibility is subsidence, where the seafloor itself is sinking. This could be due to the compaction of soft sediments or the withdrawal of oil, gas or water from beneath the seabed. Another theory points to the movement of vast underlying salt deposits which are common in the Gulf. The presence of these great cracks has significant implications. They can directly impact marine habitats. Furthermore, any human-made structures built on or near these unstable areas could be at risk. The discovery of these features demands a reassessment of geological hazards in the region. Another serious threat to the health of the Texas Gulf Coast comes not from below, but from within the water itself. Harmful algae blooms are becoming an increasingly common and worrying sight. These are not the gentle seaweeds of healthy coastal waters. Instead, they are dense explosions of microscopic algae. These blooms can cover vast areas of the sea surface, sometimes stretching for hundreds of square miles. Often they turn the water a disturbing reddish-brown color, earning them the name red tides. These blooms are not just unsightly, they can have devastating effects on marine ecosystems. While the algae are alive, some species produce toxins. These toxins can harm or kill fish, shellfish, marine mammals, and even seabirds. Humans can also be affected if they consume contaminated seafood or inhale airborne toxins near the coast. The sheer density of the algae can also block sunlight from reaching submerged aquatic vegetation, further disrupting the food web. The most severe impact often occurs when these massive algae blooms begin to die. In the deeper waters of the Gulf of Mexico, another fascinating and complex process is at play. Methane gas, formed from ancient organic matter, naturally seeps from the seafloor in many locations. This is not unique to the Gulf. Methane seeps occur in oceans around the world. Bubbles of this colorless, odorless gas rise from vents and fissures in the seabed. They journey upwards through the water column. Some of this methane dissolves into the seawater, while some may reach the atmosphere. Methane is a potent greenhouse gas, much more effective at trapping heat in the atmosphere than carbon dioxide over shorter timescales. Therefore, 
Understanding the total amount of methane escaping from the Gulf seafloor is important for climate models. These methane seeps are not barren wastelands. In fact, they support unique and thriving ecosystems, quite different from those found elsewhere in the deep sea. Specialized bacteria and archaea form the base of the food web here. These microbes are chemosynthetic, meaning they derive energy from chemical reactions involving the methane, rather than from sunlight. The waters off the coast of Galveston hold intriguing clues to a distant past. Using advanced sonar technology, researchers have detected what appear to be submerged structures on the seabed. These are not random jumbles of rock. The images reveal patterns and alignments that suggest they might not be entirely natural formations. Some features appear to be linear, while others show regular, almost geometric shapes. These mysterious forms lie hidden beneath layers of sediment and the concealing waters of the Gulf, sparking curiosity and speculation among archaeologists and geologists. Could they be the remnants of ancient human settlements? It is known that global sea levels were much lower during past ice ages. Thousands of years ago, the coastline of Texas would have been many miles further out into the present-day Gulf. Areas that are now deep underwater were once dry land, potentially inhabited by early peoples. These submerged structures, if confirmed to be man-made, could offer an unprecedented window into the lives of these ancient coastal dwellers. Exploring these potential archaeological sites presents enormous challenges. Further offshore from the bustling city of Houston, the seabed of the Gulf of Mexico conceals other geological hazards. Scientists have mapped the presence of numerous large sinkholes. Some of these depressions are truly vast, measuring hundreds of feet across and plunging to considerable depths. These are not gradual slopes but often steep-sided pits that have formed relatively suddenly. They represent areas where the structural integrity of the seafloor has been compromised, creating a significant and often hidden danger lurking beneath the waves. The formation of these offshore sinkholes is typically linked to the unique geology of the Gulf region, Deep beneath the layers of sediment lie massive deposits of salt. These salt domes, remnants of ancient evaporated seas, can be slowly dissolved by circulating groundwater. As the salt dissolves, underground caverns are created. Eventually, the roof of such a cavern can no longer support the weight of the overlying rock and sediment. It collapses, forming a sinkhole on the seafloor above. This process can be gradual or catastrophically abrupt. The Gulf of Mexico is not only a place of geological and ecological wonders but also of strange and sometimes eerie phenomena that continue to puzzle scientists and observers. One such enigma is the Gulf hum. This is a persistent low-frequency sound that has been reported by residents along the coast and detected by sensitive hydrophones in the water. Its exact origin remains a mystery, though many theories have been proposed. Some researchers speculate that the gulf hum could be the collective sound of certain fish species, perhaps related to mating rituals or communication. Others suggest it might be generated by subtle geological activity, such as the movement of sediments or fluids beneath the seabed. Despite various investigations, the true source of this mysterious underwater sound remains elusive, adding to the mystique of the gulf. Then there are the captivating yet sometimes unsettling displays of bioluminescence. The geological record of the Gulf Coast tells a story of immense power and dramatic change. Scientists have found evidence suggesting that this region has been struck by ancient superstorms in the distant past. These were tempests far larger and more destructive than any hurricane recorded in modern history. They would have reshaped coastlines, flooded vast areas and left indelible marks on the landscape. The possibility that such colossal storms could occur again, especially in a warming world, is a sobering thought for coastal communities. Furthermore, there are growing concerns about the stability of the continental shelf itself. This is the submerged edge of the continent that slopes gently outwards from the shore. Some evidence suggests that parts of the Gulf's continental shelf may be subtly shifting or subsiding. Even small changes in the elevation or tilt of the shelf can have significant consequences. They can affect coastal erosion rates, alter the paths of currents, and potentially increase the vulnerability of coastal areas to storm surges and sea level rise. The very foundation of the coast may be less stable than we assume. All these discoveries paint a clear picture. The Texas Gulf Coast is not a static and unchanging environment, it is an incredibly dynamic, complex and fragile region. The future of the Texas Gulf Coast depends on our willingness to learn, to adapt and to act decisively.